<laughs> now, when we do this, notice, obviously, you know, this isn't a perfect job, but if, when we do this, notice how it's pretty clear that, there's a, that this is fake, right? right? For one reason, you know, there, there aren't penguins with koala heads. We know that. All right. How can we make this fake be better? We can make it better this way. So far, we've done and we've put layers on this. So each one's a separate layer, and we can edit those separately. I can then go and I can merge these layers. Let's see. So now everything's on one layer, and guess what I can do? I can sort of smudge and blend the penguin's body into the koala's head, all right? And I can use my smudge tool here. And I can go in and go for a little bit better transition between the fur of the panda and the feathers of the penguin. I'm using it a little bit too big. Likewise, I can smudge those little background things away if I want it. Smudge the arm into the body. And while it doesn't necessarily look realistic, by blending these things like this, I'm getting a much closer to a, a natural looking thing. to remove a penguin's beak from this. You can use the healing thing, do a control click, click on that, and then oops, I can go and do that, and then I can blend to sort of even everything out. Oh, healing? Healing, yeah. No. It's kind of like the blemish thing. It's kind of like the blemish thing. What you do is, if you notice, you do it in two spots. In fact, let me bring up the kid with the freckles again in here. Open. Actually, let's go here. Open. I click heal, what I do is I first control click what I want to copy, and then I go over what I want to heal. So that took his plain skin and put it over top of the freckle. I actually did it the wrong way the first time. I clicked on the beak, which I wanted to heal, and then clicked on the sky. I don't want to take the beak and put it on the sky. I want to take the sky and put it over the beak. So in this case, I want to take the skin and put it over the freckle, not the freckle over the skin. All right. What if we wanted to make this kid, give this kid a haircut? All right. This hair is too long. All right. We could do a few different things, right? One thing we could do is we could sample the color of his skin using the eyedropper. That grabs the color of his skin. All right. I can then use the paintbrush to go in and paint over his hair. And that kind of doesn't look very natural, but then I can go in and I can blend with the other skin around to sort of blend that in. Again, you know, we're, we're not, our 
point here isn't to make a perfect thing, but something to demonstrate the point. So there's a lot you can do with this. Um, what I want to do now is go over to the lab, talk very briefly about Photoshop, then we will have playtime in the lab.